much stuff. Well, go ahead. Share a line. You guys got time. Go ahead and share it live. Sharing is caring. So please, at this time, let's share the live. Share it out with my girl Tina. I need her in here. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Come on through this. It's time for me to tell my story. It's time for me to do my interview. It's time for you to tell my truth. It's time for me to tell y'all everything. Okay? Hey, Ann. How y'all doing? Come on up in here. I need y'all to share this live out. I need y'all to share this out. Share this out. Like, share it. Share it and share it. Like, let's share it. Let's at least get 500 people up on here. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I, I know we can do it. Let's at least get us 500 people on here. Share it out while I get this stuff together. Share it out. I'm ready to tell my story. We only got 19 shares. Share it out. Okay, share it out, y'all. Share it out. Thank you. We got 81 people. Thank you for sharing. That's good. We'll get it. We're going to get our 500 people. I ain't worried about it. I know we're going to get it. God is able, like Maya said. Share it out. Share it out. Share it out. Thank you. This might go in and out. I don't know. It's not going to sit like that, but however. Okay. Thank you, guys. I appreciate everybody for sharing. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys for sharing. I do, I do, I do. I'm going to give it some time. So, um... First of all, I'm going to say that and present my promotion purse, okay? I'm going to permit my promotion purse right quick. And let's, uh, hold on. Okay, so let's, um, uh, while we waiting. Share it, share it. We need 500 people. It's not showing you.
Thank you, Teresa. Hey, Kim. Natural born hustle, you can get it for the Lolo. Get it back your face, look like Cyrus Snack. Watch a me like a promo. I get paid for that. I got no, no, bitch, can't get no entertainer. Cutting off the. I don't fuck no friends. I be. Then I do it again. Okay. Now we got that out the way. That is my promotion bag. Okay. That's my promotion bag. I sell the bags. Okay. So if you want to buy a bag, you just let me know. If you want your bag with a TV in it, you let me know. Okay. First of all, that's first and foremost. Make sure you keep sharing this line because I need to get this out to the world. I need this shared out. Seriously. Don't ask me how much, cause I'm not about to. We not we not buying bags right now, okay? We not. This is we you inbox me if you want to know about any products that I got. Inbox me, okay? If you want this outfit, I got them in all colors. Inbox me, okay? That's all I can tell you. Inbox me, okay? So now that we have that out of the way. Let's see if we can. Um, this is a joke. This is not a joke. What's a joke? A joke that my daughter just went and hold on. My a joke that a daughter, my daughter just went on a street interview and talked about me on live and said I was a horrible mother. People are inboxing me saying um, that um. That I'm a bad mother saying that um that um that I'm toxic and all of this and that and saying that I didn't raise my kids right. Yeah, that's not a joke. That is for real. Okay. And this girl sat here and went on an interview on live on somebody else's YouTube channel to try to and bring me down and deflate my name and and, 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 and all of that, and you're talking about it's a joke, it's no joke. Her interview has already been out there. So my interview is here right now. I'm on Facebook, so it don't matter. YouTube. I can't see no, no things. So YouTube, I don't know if I'm going to stay here with y'all. Y'all have not even tuning in. Where are well, YouTube? Go tune into Facebook because I'm going to end this YouTube because I don't, I don't, it's no, it's, it's no need to be on YouTube. I'll just transfer it from Facebook to YouTube. Okay. So YouTube, go to Facebook at Mauritania and come through. I'll see y'all later. Okay. I ended YouTube. YouTube got to go come to Facebook. Okay. To get me. I was just watching your daughter's interview on YouTube since Monday night. And it's I mean it's it's very um how can I say it's very um it's very like it's very it's very touching, I should say. Um it's it's not a joke, you know. It's not nothing to play with, you know. Um, I don't understand why would she go down there or go over there and um, do a YouTube about me like that. So that's what I'm not understanding there. You know what I'm saying? But however, or whatever, I like the background. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. I mean, Talina. 
That is that you all in my prayer. Thank you. Thank you, so better, baby. And the video is disturbing. That is. This is not a joke. Exactly. It's not a joke. Okay. When your child goes and try to defame you and your motherhood and you did all you could. And then they said that I got my grandbabies are in the streets or in the cold. And they keep telling me, why don't you go get your grandbabies out the streets? Why don't you go get your grandbabies out the cold? When she did that YouTube video, she got lots of hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Okay? She should have got her kid out the cold. Okay? They flooded her cash app. Okay? You should have got your kids out the street. Okay? So, I mean, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm just asking, what do you want me to do? I mean, I'm sitting here. I'm looking good. I'm looking pretty. You know, I'm 51 years old. I'm an artist. I'm, 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 I rap. I have to take her eight children. I have to feed my kids. I have to maintain this big old house that we have. You know what I'm saying? I'll give y'all a house to it later. But um, I got other grandbabies and stuff. That I have to, you know what I'm saying, to keep up with. Um, it's a lot I got. I got going on for myself. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have time for BS. You know what I'm saying? So, she said that um, she never got along with me. That's a lie. But um, you've done all you could do. I've done all I can do. These children today are so ungrateful. It's no matter what you do for these kids. Once they get out here to these streets, they get to these guys, they get to these drugs. Baby, you lose control of them. All You already lost them. You lose. We are losing our kids to these streets and drugs every day. Because number one, a lot of mothers out here that's trying to work hard. A lot of mothers out here pushing to do all they can do. They sacrificing, they doing stuff that they ain't supposed to be doing to make sure that their kids got. They making sure that them kids live with them. Even it's mothers out here that got grown kids living in their house and the grown kids refuse to clean up. Grown kids refuse to clean up after their children. And then y'all want us grandmothers to stay here and raise your kids after we raised our kids. That's not what the grandmother tool is. That's not how grandmothers are. Let me tell you what a grandmother does. A grandmother is, we watch it when we want to watch it. We give it back to you. We buy what we want to buy with our money and we give it back to you. We are not responsible for a grandchild. I'm responsible for what I spit out of me. I'm responsible for my child. I'm not responsible for a, a grandbaby. And because I say I'm not responsible for a grandbaby doesn't mean I don't like my grandbaby. Because I'm so sick of this. Oh, she doesn't like her grandkids. I love, I'm going to say this publicly. I love each and every one of my grandbabies equally. I'm going to say it myself publicly. There is nothing I would do for my grandbabies. All of them. I would love to be in the home, or out the home, or whatever with my grandkids. But I understand what guys go through now when you got baby mamas that still want to be with the baby daddy. And they use that baby as leverage. And they say, oh, well, you got to come over my house and see the baby. Okay, he come over the house and see the baby. Oh, you got to come in this room with me. You got to do this. You got to do that. And, oh, you can't see your baby. And he don't want to go and lay up with her. I don't want to go and do, do what she want to do. Oh, get out of my house. You can't see the baby. But I can't see my baby. I ain't come over here to wind and dance you or, or, or to, 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 do, to be some sexual healing to you. You understand what I'm saying? So, because all that doesn't happen, then he can't see his kid. I see what these guys go through when they just trying to be a father, but the but the women out here is using these kids for leverage and saying, oh, you can't see your baby if you can't come over here and wind it down. You can't see your baby if you can't give me no money. That's dirty. She, Shanique was saying that I could not see my grandbabies. She, y'all act like y'all didn't hear that. She said that 
my grandbabies would never enter my house. And she swore on live that they would, I would never see my grandbabies again. She swore on her own lie. She said, I don't want my babies over that lady's house or around that lady. So at this point, I got to give it to God. So she said, how y'all going to tell me I should go get somebody when the mother said that I wasn't treating it right? When the mother said she don't want it around me. How am I supposed to go and just snatch the kids and bring them up over here for safety? Okay? I can't do that. Not to mention... I mean, my prayers and stuff go out to her. You know what I'm saying? But also, they're sick at this present time. They have to go to a healing process before they can go anywhere to anybody's house. Okay? But when you tell me that I can't see my grandkids, when you tell me that I'm not able to see my grandkids, you don't want me to see them no more because I didn't treat them right or the way you wanted me to treat them. What is I supposed to do? Then y'all sitting here blaming me, telling us, oh, she won't go get her grandkids. No, I was told I couldn't see them no more. I, to I was told that they could never come back to me no more. You know? So, I can't, I'm not going to override the mother. Okay? They safe. They with her. They eating. They alive. All I can do is give it to God and pray. Okay? But at the end of the day, why would I go get her kids, let her become free to go out here and do what she want to do? If I go get this girl kids and she don't have any more kids, she goes out here and get to make another kid. When I got custody of the first kid, she went and got pregnant with the second kid. When I got custody of the second kid, she went out here and got pregnant with the third kid. So y'all telling me to go get all three kids and bring them in. So next year she can go out here and get pregnant and have a fourth kid. And bring that to me. This is what y'all could spend on. Right at this point. You could spend on it. Because that ain't about to happen. When I got custody on all two kids. A kid was coming at the kid. At the kid. At the kid. At the kid. So I'm about to stop the curse. I'm stopping the curse. Now. Of her having kids. And just throwing them on me. You would not be out here. Laying up getting some. Wiggity, wiggity, wag, 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 stack, stack, stack. And then coming up over here telling me, here, daycare, grandmommy, you babysit them. Here, daycare, grandmommy, you play Mrs. Doubtfire. Here, daycare, grandmommy, I'm going to tell the whole world you're not a good grandmama because you're not watching my children like I'm having them. I'm study having them and you're not watching them. I'm going to go over here on live and tell live you're a bad grandmother because you don't want to watch them. And then live, so stupid, so uneducated, so dumb. So I'm like, yeah, you're right. You right. Then it hit it go, she's toxic. Everybody in this world is toxic. Who in this world is not toxic? You are born toxic, dummy. It's just all about who let the toxicism out. Somebody piss you off, you're going to get toxic. Okay? Somebody breaking your house, you're going to get toxic. If somebody come and touch your car door, you're going to get toxic. If somebody touch your kid in the grocery store, you're going to get toxic. Don't come with me with this toxic shit. Oh, she toxic. Yeah, you're right. I'm not denying it. I am toxic. That's why I have a husband for 22 years. Because he loved this toxicness. You might need to be toxic so you can get married. That's why y'all ain't got no wife, no husband now. Because you ain't toxic enough. You heard what Cardi B said, nigga love a toxic bitch. That's why I have a husband. That's why I been married 22 years. Unlike you, on zero years of being married. So you can't tell me nothing. Because my toxicness got me a husband. So you might need to let your toxicness out so you can get married. And somebody might say, I do. But to come here and say, I was, like y'all some perfect. Y'all was some just some angels. And you sitting there, ooh, ooh, oh, look at the yelling. Look at the screaming in their house. Oh my God, girl, look at this. Oh, isn't this toxic? Stupid. You're toxic. You just don't know it until somebody bother you or mess with your goods.
or mess with you and you're going to come out toxic because you're going to call them every name in the book and defend yourself to the full extent that you can defend yourself. And what's that going to be, honey? Toxic. You just defended yourself because this man touched your behind. And you call him all names. Baby, you're toxic. We all was born with some toxicity in us. And if we don't got that in us, then baby, you won't be able to learn how to live out here in these streets. So don't come over here and try to test my capabilities of my toxicness. Because if I want to be toxic or whatever, that's fine. I'm doing a great job. You need to go and learn how to be toxic. Okay? That's why you're sitting at home bored. You watching me. You watching what my kids do. You watching what I what all other people YouTube with my kids saying. Because what by why? Because you're bored. You have nothing to do. Your life is really boring. You you don't know man even want to sit around you because you're too normal. You are too normal. A man only love a toxic woman. If you're not toxic, you won't be lovable to him anyway. Sometimes you have to step out your category of your lead to be loved the right way. These days and ages have changed. We cannot be loved like our grandmother did back in the days with that soft, sentimental love. That's out the door in 2022. Okay? Our grandmother them had it good back in their days. Okay? Where it was, okay, you know, even back then, grandma was kind of toxic. Because if he didn't come in on time, grandma had that stick ready for him. But, where was you at? I cooked dinner, you weren't here. Huh? You know I put them kids to sleep and I cook dinner and I put on this skirt with no drawers on, nigga, and you didn't even come home. Where you was at? But, did you hear what I said? Back in the days, grandma was toxic. That's why she kept her husband till the last breath. That's why her husband stayed with her until the last breath. That's why they kept their vials until God seals in. Because they were toxic, stupid. That's why y'all ain't got, y'all want to sit here and get a man and be like, and, and play like y'all. See, 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 the other side, the other, the, 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 the other people's got y'all thinking that. The, 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 the salt people's got y'all thinking that. We pepper. The salt people's got y'all thinking that. Okay? But but let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, baby girl. If you get my man come here right now, I call him what I want to call him. And he know you're going to do what I tell you to do. Play by the rules. Mm. Oh, you're going to get it. And I've been giving it to him for a long time. That why he loved me. His mama been told him. Divorce that lady. His mama and his daddy have been saying, divorce that lady. She's crazy. She's no good. She's not for you. We don't like her. Don't give her. Don't give her. Don't give her our, our name. Please divorce her. Divorce her. Don't marry her. Don't marry her. And what did he do? He married me. I was toxic. And now, what did I have? His toxic little puppies. I had his toxic little puppies. So now what that make us? A toxic family. What family is on this earth is not toxic? Everybody on this live got somebody in their family that's toxic. It may not be you, but it's somebody at the at the party, somebody at the family reunion, somebody gonna come to that Thanksgiving toxic. Somebody gonna come through that that Thanksgiving door, and as y'all eat, they gonna get toxic. Everybody gonna have somebody next week at their family reunion. I mean, at that Thanksgiving table, and everybody gonna have a toxic family member in there. Will make you different than me. It don't. It don't. It really don't. 
See what it is. You see, y'all try and make excuses for the stupid stuff that y'all do. So you can just so go out here and just judge the neck pussy. But you can't judge me, baby. You can't judge me, baby. Let me tell you one thing about me. Let me tell you one thing about me. One thing only, baby. Let me tell you one thing about me. I wrote my truth. I wrote my truth. And it's on Amazon. And you can go purchase it. And can't nobody tell you nothing about me better than me than this book that I wrote myself. On Amazon. Check it out. On Amazon. Can't nobody tell you what I already didn't wrote. You want to know about me? You want to know the truth? You want to know about my children? It's all in the book. I've been wrote my book. Long time ago. So if you get hooked on phonics, you might can read it. And you go get hooked on phonics, you might can read this. And then you can stop writing judgmental comments. But you write judgmental comments because you haven't got the book yet. Born into an unwanted family by Tanya Moore. The book. Okay. When you get this book. And then you'll understand me, myself, and I. And where I came from, baby. I don't work for celebrities and everything, baby. I ain't playing no games, okay. Baby, I run a whole company. A whole company. I read that book. Thank you, baby. Thank you, everybody. Where to get your book from? Amazon. And if you have not gotten your vegan lotion... Please do so now. That's why my skin is beautiful at 51. That's why I look good. Because I sell my own products. I make my own products vegan. Vegan. I put the vegan stuff on my body. I don't put nothing with animals on my body. Okay? Fastest way to start the sales. Mixing up and getting sick. Okay? Vegan lotion is what you need. Vegan, 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 vegan. Okay, this is the best lotion. This lotion, this little jar right here will last you two to three months. And if this little jar right here, if your cousin smell it, your auntie smell it, they're going to steal it from you. Okay, that's how good and potent. It's very potent. And it, and it, and it leaves a smell on you for 48 hours, not 24, for 48 hours. When you wash your clothes, you'll still smell this in it. Okay, this lotion is the best lotion ever. Okay. You inbox me for this lotion and get yours today. And they also make great Christmas gifts. This is Twerk TV and lotion. And it's, it's animal product free. Okay. I have my own face scrub. And I got my own uh, my, my, my own cleanser. And my own um, cream that's coming out vegan after Thanksgiving. I'm going to launch that after Thanksgiving. Okay. So pay attention and stay tuned to this channel. Because I'm going to launch that after Thanksgiving. Everything I do is vegan, baby. Everything I do is real and organic to make you look pretty, to make you look good, to make you not look too old when you're getting old, okay? I sit here and I, I, I beautify you. Make sure you're pretty. Keep that skin tone good and keep that skin tone color the way it's supposed to be, okay? And make it feel nice, good, and fresh, okay? And this might make you feel good about yourself. Because some of y'all not feeling too good about yourself. And I can tell that because y'all be in them comments so reckless. I can tell you're not happy with yourself. A lot of y'all that's on here is really not happy with yourself. There's some stuff y'all going through and some skeletons y'all going through. Y'all really need to get out. Y'all really need to talk to somebody. For y'all been had a mental breakdown. Okay, because a lot of y'all is going through something. I can tell the way y'all typing in them comments. I can tell the way y'all flip flap. One minute, oh yeah, she good parent. Next minute, oh no, no, no. Next minute, I watched her YouTube and it was it was just not it was not so good. Oh, and then not to mention, I got a comment today. Let me see if I can find it. It was a comment today. Well, uh, uh, a lady had comment on one of my videos. On, it's on this page. I'm gonna see if I can read because she's like she said something to me. I said, no, I'm gonna address your comment on live. Okay, I'm not going to say her name because I'm not promoting nobody. And if you need your channel promoted, if you need to grow a channel, I can get you monetized in 30 days. Okay, I can get you 10K followers in 30 days. So if you want to grow your channel, 
You want to be a, um, a, an influencer? You want to get your 10K in 30 days? I got you. Inbox me. I charge $500 because I get you. Why? Because I get you 10K in 30 days. That's guaranteed. Okay? Get you your 10K 10, uh, in, in 30 days. That's guaranteed. Okay? And um, also, I train you and teach you how to build your platform so you can be able to make a good passive income. They're paying you $30,000 just for posting. Okay? So if you're not getting paid $30,000 just for, 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 for posting, then you need to get into my inbox because you're not making no money. Maybe you guys can make some money. And I figure maybe if I help you make some money, you can stop being so evil. You can stop being so judgmental. You can stop commenting so much evil stuff because you'll be able to make money. When you're people that's making money, people that got money, don't have time to hate on somebody. Only people got time to hate on somebody is the broke ones or is the ones that's miserable. Or just the ones just, just not happy with their life. We're just not in the income bracket they need to be on. Not in their dream house. Not in their dream car. Don't have their dream husband. Baby, you can have all of that. Lay up off the hate. Lay up off the hate, sis. Y'all are so hateful. It's sad. It's so sad. Sisters and brothers just so hateful towards each other. For what? What did somebody do to you to be that hateful? Why would you hate them that bad? Anyway, I don't think I screenshotted it off on this page. But anyway, she was saying something about... Um, yeah, and it's sad. Because we all, it's enough money for us all. I would love to help everybody out here make money. I would love to help everybody out here build their page. You can build your platform just like I built mine. I built my platform from scratch. I help my kids build a platform, okay? I help them build a platform. And my daughter, they said that I'm not good to her. I opened up her a whole business. A whole business. Yes, she has a whole cleaning company in her name that she hasn't even started to get stuff with. Or for. That's what she should have been done. Let me see if I can get ready to call my son and get him on the line right quick. For you guys. Let me see if I can get my phone online for you. Uh oh, are you uh uh Quante? Yes, ma'am. Uh, why aren't you on, on my live? Huh? Why are you not on this live? Oh, because I'm on live. Oh, yeah. So, did you want to just talk it or you want to wait? Uh, I can talk real quick. I got a couple minutes. Okay. So, um, what, where do you want to start from? Huh? Can y'all hear him? Uh, I, you're going to have to join this live when you get home. Okay. But, uh,. Uh, I don't know. Well, first of all, they said I was a bad mother. Excuse me. Too much rattling. So first of all, they said I was a, I, I was told to the world. <laughs> Tangy. Okay. First of all, I was told to the world that I was a bad mother. Dang. Can you give me that? Put that over here or something. What's wrong with y'all? Um, well, okay, let me let me let me let me start by saying this. Shaniqua did a lie on on somebody's interview channel, on somebody's um street channel, interview channel, I don't know. It was on the YouTube. And she said that um she doesn't get along with me. I was a bad mother. I put the kids out, got the other dog sleeping in other dog sleeping in the tent. However, however, but she never got along with me. I want to clear this file this up with you. First of all, 
Who am I to you? You are my mother. I'm your oldest boy. Thank you. Um, so I am your mother. We got that clarified. And did I pay you to say this? No. Okay. And mom, uh, so you're, I am on your birth certificate, right? No, that's me. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we on the right track. So, no, because these people are weird. They're going to say I'll rent you and all this type stuff. So, can I just get a little bit from you? I'm not going to keep you long. I just want a little bit of background on my motherhood to you. As a, as a child growing up, first of all, have I ever left y'all hungry? Hell no. We were great middle class. We really, we, we, we had everything we needed. Everything you needed. We exactly. never went for nothing. We never went without nothing. Exactly. Okay. And you taught, and you taught, you taught work ethics and things. That's on them. Because I know, I know you taught me work Me and D-Lo for sure, work ethics. We was out there, you know what I'm saying, raising yards, cleaning. Man, I remember me and Tammy was out there making a kill back when we was like 12 years old. Yeah. Yeah, hundreds of dollars. Just some shoveling the snow and breaking leaves. And we were making so much money. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, now did y'all make y'all money? Did I ever try and take y'all money from y'all? No, nah, never. Never, okay, thank you. So, um, have you ever seen me smoke, drink, or do drugs as I was raising you? Never. Have you ever seen me high? Have you ever seen me with multiple men running in and out of my house? No, not at all. You know, we, you know, we wouldn't have that shit anyway. Oh, that exactly. Okay. Now, yeah. let's get let's get to some facts. So, with Shaniqua, how would you describe me and Shaniqua's? Shaniqua, uh, I swear, I, I've been telling you this shit since you. But, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go, before you let let everybody have it. How would you describe me and Shaniqua's relationship as a child, as she growing up as a child? Like, did we show that we love or hate each other or anything? Did I show hatred or did, did, I, did our relationship look like it was no. hatred? Or did... No, no, no. no. Okay. What happened was how Shaniqua spiraled out of control, and I was telling you this shit a long time ago. Y'all was, you and Billy used to always argue and fight every time you went to whoop her ass. Shaniqua would always fight back. 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 Shaniqua would always Without getting in any fucking kind of trouble. That was the only one who was, who had the most, who was, you know what I'm saying? She was, she would say and do everything she wanted to do and then build a protective when it's time to get her ass booked. That's why she grew up like that, to be honest. Because she, cause she always was like protected when it was time for her to get chastised and shit. And she never got chastised. Never. Never. That's why she, that's why she, that's why she do what she do now, to be honest. But, she didn't start doing this until we moved to Georgia and she started dating those guys. Nickel been out of control since before y'all even left out to Georgia. When she was taking pictures on the, on the fucking tub and shit with her ass hanging off the tub and all that other old wild shit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> before y'all even left. And I remember, man, look, I ain't about to get up until all that, but yeah, she, she, that, that shit just happened. It ain't just happened. So she was a little, had a little freakiness coming out of her. Okay. So, but my thing is this, is that she, she said, I, I don't like children. I don't like her children. But that's on another case. I want to keep, keep it on me as a mother. And I want you to keep focus on what, did I do anything to go wrong with raising any one of my children? You've been here all, all your life with me. But how old are you, sir? I'm 29. You've been here with me 29 years. Okay? So I'm pretty sure in 20, Shanique was 23. So that means you was here before she was born. So that means you know the flavor. Because you have raised her, am I right? Hello? We still here? Hello? Hello? Yeah, okay. I'm going to set my phone and I clean that. I charged it all up. I have to click on it. Keep calling Okay, okay. So I was saying, so you've been here ever since she was born. Yeah. You helped raise her, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So tell me, just give me just give me a little outlet. I just want, before I let you go, I want a little bit of outlet on what type of mother do you think I am? 
honestly from your heart, what type of person or how was I as a mother growing up? Did I give a fuck about my kids? Did I care about my kids? Did I love my kids? You you showed tough love with me and D Lo on the first the first day me ten, me telling you D Lo it was like I don't know you it's like when the last five came you was like way more lean lean I mean, like you was leaning in yeah okay right like you, I got soft you let me exactly okay six was soft you let them get away with shit I'd have been scorched for I'd have, you probably lynched me for some shit that they get away with that they would get away with now. Yeah. Uh huh. So, oh, yeah, you, uh, do you think that me being stern with you and sturdy with you and aggressive with you? Yes, I you, think that should help me out of my life. I still ain't been in jail. I ain't, I look. Ain't been in jail. Absolutely. Ain't so no dope. Ain't ain't absolutely. ain't been on no corners. They all got me through our life. Okay. I'm, I know right from wrong, early, real early. Right. So and you you were you know you were cooking at four years old. Definitely cooking, clean, doing all that shit. Baby said we got the house. You were babysitting the other children. You, Tammy, and Angel and Quan, and what you call it was home alone at four or five years old. Exactly. You were babysitting at five years old, and you knew not to open that door for nobody. You knew the rules. You knew what to do and how to watch your your siblings. So that's for that what makes you more of a man. Which I never did that to them. But my thing is this, we was I was a single mother and I had to count on you. Because I didn't know if I was gonna get a man. I didn't know if I was gonna get a husband. But I knew with you being the strongest boy that I had. Yo ass you could do twelve hour shifts six days a week. Six days a week. I used to work 12 hours. You never was at home. I had to hold that motherfucker down myself. So I worked hard for my family. That's right. It was some days I couldn't come home from work. Yeah. You know? Some days I couldn't come home. Because nobody didn't come feel the shift. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and my son had to sit there and hold the whole fork in the house down for me. You know, and I thank God for you because, you know, what I mean, most sons would have never did that. And like I say, for you to be 28 years old and do not have a record, had never been arrested, had never been jail time, had never been to prison. That's a blessing. That lets you know I did something right. 29 years old. African-American. Yeah. Ain't never been in jail. Me or D Lo. Shit. Or type of shit. Right. Never been. Okay. They don't got felonies. They can yeah. pass background yeah. check. Yeah. If they yeah. if they want to work for the government, yeah. they can they can clear yeah. background. They can clear it. Yeah. How many of y'all on here that's commenting saying I'm a bad mother's son yeah. to clear background? <laughs> Let's talk about that. So we're gonna talk about me being a bad girl. All of y'all, this time I'm a bad mother. Let's pull your son's records up and see if they can clear a criminal background check worldwide, not just states. We want the fingerprints worldwide. 52 states. Clear. 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 Oh, no, this nigga got a warrant in, 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 in Mississippi. Oh, no, he got another one out of Alabama. Half the people coming, your kids got warrants or arrested or in jail. Or in prison that you're talking to behind a wall. But you're coming. Because you're jealous. At this point, they jealous of me, sis. God told me this world was going to be jealous of me. That's why he gave me eight kids to be strong. Because he knew that I was going to run this world. Like a stone. Because they jealous of me. At this point, everybody coming. Your kid is a motherfucker convict. Period. Everybody coming negative about me. I'm going to say God bless you and take your son from the prison wall. I say, all right, because your kid is, 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 is under conviction of something. Everybody is mad. And at this point, it's nothing but jealousy. I'm convinced. The world is jealous of me. Why? I'm beautiful. I look good. I'm 51. I, I'm an artist. I'm a book writer. 
got my own vegan lotion stuff. I'm a hustler, baby. I make music with my children. I'm I'm grounded, rooted, loveful with my children. I loved on my children when they were when they were um babies. Now they grown. Now y'all still saying I'm still responsible for them and their kids. They jealous of me. Lord Jesus, I got the answer. Thank you, God. I got the answer. Yeah. But yeah, I'm some real shit. That's how you need to be with Snicker right now. Because if you if you wasn't like that, she'd be in that motherfucker popping out baby at the baby at the baby at the baby. Exactly. That's what I keep telling them. They keep telling us, you need to go get the kids. Everything meant for a reason. Huh? Everything is meant for a reason. So. Everything is meant for a reason. And that's what I kept telling them. Quan said, when I got that first kid, she came out with kid number two. When I got custody kid number two, she came out with kid number three. Now you, they want me to go get all three kids so we can come out with kid number four. And they throwing the kids on me. That ain't right. That ain't about to happen. I don't care what y'all say about me. I don't care how cold blood y'all say as grandmother I am. It, the girl sat there and told y'all, she only out here on these streets and it's only going to make her stronger to be a good mother towards her children to get out there and struggle with those kids. When I have my eight kids struggling with nobody there for me, when my eight kids needed something to eat, then nobody get them nothing to eat. I had to go out there and get it how I had to get it. And like I said, she don't got no kids, then she's going to turn to drugs. I got all her kids over here. Then next, when the next next few months, now we going to be looking at it. She's a dope fiend. Why? Because she ain't got no kids with her. So all she had to do was turn to dope. What else else to do? I can't say all that, but... I'm saying that's what happens because the dope, dope thing is so heavy here. And people offer you all day dope. So... If you don't have no kids in your care, you're going to get wild. I believe, I believe she was comfortable and she just was there. She, she wanted she want to be focused on shit up for niggas and making more babies. Baby with the fucking baby after baby. Yo! Nigga, hit my car. It's going to be some shit. Watch that baby yes. Anyways, man. <laughs> well, I don't want to take no more of your time. I don't want to thank you for that. But when you get home, I need you to come join my live when you see me live. I might not be on this one, but I need you to join my live eventually so they can see that you're a real person and not see that you's a renter nigga. All right, man. All right. Love you, baby. Thank you. There you have it from my son. He's not a renter, a renter guy. That's my blood son. He will not lie to you. Okay, we don't have no reason to lie to you. Okay, at this point, you guys are jealous of me. I'm convinced. I'm beautiful. I look good. I look good with no hair. I look good with no edges. Y'all just jealous of me. At this point, I'm convinced you guys are jealous of me because your kids are in prison. Your kids are facing prison time. Your kids out here doing something that you can't stop them. Half of y'all kids have been in the system. So you talk about mine. Thank you, Ann, baby, my love. So at this point, you guys are jealous of me. And this is the reason why you keep my name in your mouth. Okay? Because of jealousy. Jealousy, envy is a sin. I said that on my song, Broke Holes, if you go listen to it. Okay? That's why I don't fuck with no friends. Because jealousy in India is a sin. Go get your doctor change. Go get your doctor change now. So at this point, thank you, Ann, baby. I love you, baby. Um, I have a daughter just disrespectful. And um, I have custody of two of her kids. Oh, my God. She's 27 years old. And I've been dealing with her attitude since she was 13. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, Mary? I, that's the same thing I went through. And then when you give them back and when you just can't take it no more, or, you know, or when you be when you do something to her, they go on, they go on these lives, they go on all this stuff, and they say they make you look like the bad guy. You're beautiful inside. And thank you, Tina, my love. That's just people that don't know what the fuck is going on. Thank you. She's been disrespectful. She's been disrespectful. 
I'm a, I'm going to post all of disrespectful videos up here off of my YouTube. I'm going to screenshot them and I'm going to post them up here. I'm going to post them and post them and post them. I'm going to give you an outline on Miss Shaniqua. Okay? So you guys can leave me alone. Because I, I didn't want to do it. I wanted this to go disappear. I wanted this to go away. I want this to be behind me. Okay? But it seemed like y'all, I it just can't go. It just can't go. I don't know what I got to do. It just can't go. I'm trying to move on with my life. I'm trying to do better with my life. I'm trying to keep on working. I'm trying to keep on striving. These big and better doors that God has opened and God has blessed me with some people. I got stuff. I got some good news this morning. All of this and this and that. And it seemed like the devil is trying to you. The, the devil is trying to come into my kids to get to me because he can't get to me. Because he know I'm too strong and I'm not going to intervene or even... Um, Entertain him. You know what I'm saying? One thing, one thing T won't do is entertain that devil. Okay? And so he said, let me get the weakest links. It's her children. She's too strong. I can't get her. Her faith is too strong. See, when God, I mean, when the devil knows your faith is too strong in God, it's so hard for him to get to you. So he has to use the next thing best. And that's the thing closer, your husband or your children or your sister or your mother to get to you, to bring you down, to bring you off your square, to stop you from, your, from, from what you had to do, stop you from being motivated to keep going on to your career. That's what the devil do. It's distraction. Okay. It's distraction. And what he's doing now is because I have so much stuff going on, so many doors God got that he's about to open for me. So another place, another dimension that God about to take me on this platform. The devil's trying to knock it. But the devil won't get it here. The devil is a liar. That devil get deep behind me. I would defeat that devil in the name of Jesus. That devil don't get no shine here. He will not get no shine on mine. Okay? Because I'm, I'm team God all the way through until God take my breath. I don't give a fuck about no money, no nothing. I will never in my life sell my soul for some motherfucking money. I ain't selling my soul. I ain't selling my pride. I ain't selling none of that. Because you know why I've been down before. And if I got to go back down to nothing, I'll do it. I'm used to it. If I got to go back and live in a cardboard box or a garage, I'll do it. I'm used to it. I'd rather go down low and live in a cardboard box when somebody's garage broke before I sit up here and have it all with the goddamn devil knowing I'm going to hell at the end of the day. Na, 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 na. Don't trick me out of my motherfucking life and my blood that God gave me. i tell you one thing. If God said it ain't for me, it ain't for me. If I got to go live in the garage, I don't mind it. If I have to be homeless and just pray to God that I got to get what I got to get, I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask God to keep giving me strength and keep praying. Because I believe that God will come through when it's time to come through. I ain't never going to stop this cell. I know one thing about me, I never looked down on nobody. I never treated nobody wrong. I never judged nobody. I never act like I got this and you got that. And I never talked about people that was unfortunate and couldn't have this. I always tried to help or give some type of good input on you or pray for you or tell you, baby girl, it's going to be okay. Don't worry. Keep the faith. I'm going to pray for you. Here, here go a couple of dollars. I can help you. I would never, ever sit there and talk down on nobody or look down on nobody no matter what I got. No matter what I got. Whether I'm up, whether I'm down, whether I'm sideways, whether I'm poor, whether I'm cool, crazy or blind, I'm still going to keep, keep keep God first and tell you to keep God first. And I'm going to still, if I can make you feel better, I will ask God to order my words to be able to help this person feel better. That's what I would do. I would tell God, order my words to help me help you feel better and tell me what to tell you. For you can feel better. 
say. A lot of people's not happy with they self. I got a bump on my kind of form, this bump. I got pimples. I got acne. I don't want to go live because I got acne. Girl, don't worry about that acne. Get your ass on live. You got a story to tell. tale. Oh, I, I got this, this, this bump I was born with and it's right here. Don't worry about that bump. Oh, I'm kind of ugly because I'm, <laughs> I'm looking stupid. Don't worry about looking stupid. Because in God's eyes, you're still beautiful. Go live. Show that world you're still beautiful no matter what you. I don't give a fuck with your lips are crooked. And your lips are crooked like this, nigga. You still go live. Go live. Go live. And you talk loud with your lips crooked. Because you know why? God wants you to be you. And no matter how crooked your lips is, you still beautiful. You still you. And you gonna be you. And can't nobody take that away from you, baby. Because I'm gonna tell you one thing. People will sit here and tell you, girl, you too goddamn big. Well, girl, get your skinny ass out of here because nigga skinny ain't in. They tell you everything to fuck with your mind. Better get your big ass on by. See me? And looking good. And do y'all like my phone? I did it myself. I'm trying to do makeup. Y'all like my stones? I go live sometimes. That's right. Go live. Don't never be scared to go live. Don't never be scared. Let me tell y'all another thing. I want y'all, I want y'all to start shaking your ass. Cause I'm gonna tell you this. That's how I got famous from being from twerking. That's how I got seen from twerking. And I and I love twerking now. I'm a twerker. I need y'all to go live. Shake your ass and get you some attention. Your ass is your attention. Your ass will make you a lot of money. All you got to do is go shake it. Shake that ass. Yeah, I ain't telling you go shake your butt booty naked. Which uh, I shake my butt booty naked. But don't you do it. But you put you on some nice shorts to make that little ass pop out. I don't give a fuck if you got an ass that look like a cantaloupe. Get on there and shake that cantaloupe. You hear me? Don't you let nobody tell you about your booty. And let me tell you this, baby. Don't go get that goddamn surgery. That surgery is the devil. Stop the surgery. If you got a booty to like a flat screen, you better go out there and turn the goddamn knob and turn the volume up. And I want you to shake that motherfucking flat motherfucker all the way into flat rock. It's going to shake somewhere. Might be like this, but the end of it might get a little jiggy jiggy. Okay? You can still shake something on that flat motherfucker. Don't you be ashamed of yourself. And you can fix that flat shit too. By uh uh, uh put you some fix it flat in that shit. So I know don't do that. <laughs> I don't know if I do that shit and come back and sue me. Let me say for the record, do not put fix it flat in your ass, okay? I'm going to tell you this. Now, I'm not going to say this publicly. That was a joke out of the community lit joke shit. Okay? Do not, and that's not a serve. Do not go putting fix it flat in your ass. That is not how you do it. That is not how it is. And I was just joking. Joking. Joke, joke, joke. So I went over there. I tried to throw your ass. And I went there and I was pumping, 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 pumping. Now I fucked up because she told me to do that. For the record, do not do that. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell you what you do. That's why I'm going to tell y'all what you do. If you got a flat booty, go on Amazon and get you some booty pads. And put you some booty pads on. And while you're out in the streets, wear the booty pads and shake your ass. And then track, and track the nigga in. You're going to track the nigga. Once he get there, tell him to turn off the lights. So when y'all get butt naked to start women down, down, down. Well, you know, he going to run if he trying to hit you from the back first. So you want to get you some, you know, some good loving in right quick. So you better jump on top of his ass first. And so you can go ahead and, and, and do what you got to do. Because if he's hit it from the back, find that motherfucker flat like a screen, he's going to be mad. 
So I'm just telling you, giving you a little bit of cues and keys, but how you can, but you brought the nigga in though, didn't you, with the boot pads? So hey, don't worry about it. You know, so you ain't always gotta have a big ass. They got booty pads. Go get the booty pads. Wear them bitches. Sh Do you think everybody walking around with a big ass? They not. They got booty pads on them. Y'all better go get you some booty pads. I'm trying to tell you. Go get you some booty pads off of Amazon, and you put them boys on, and you going on the Walmart. You go to you go to the event where you see the big balls at. You know, y'all gotta stop hanging out this post shit. Start hanging with the rich folks. I learned that. That's what I do. I don't hang with broke motherfuckers. I hang with rich people. Start going to these rich events. Start going to the rich folks shit. Start paying for tickets to go to places where, you, where the money is at. That's why you ain't got shit. That's why your nigga ain't shit. Because you keep going to this post shit. Don't go to the club at the corner. Go ahead and get your ticket and go to the event with the booty pads on. They, they say some nice booty pads too. You know what I'm saying? They got something to feel kind of like. With the silicone on and with the jello. In case a nigga make a mistake and touch your booty, it still feel like it's your booty. But like I say, huh, this trick a nigga season, bitch. This trick a nigga season. They been tricking us all the while, bitch. They been lying to us, telling us that we going to have these babies. They was going to be babies. They were going to be in our life. They will marry us. And they're going to do all this for the kids. And nigga, the kids ain't seen nothing but they back. Them bitches ain't did nothing but turn they back. So now it's trying to just this is a trick a nigga season, bitch. This is trick a nigga season. If you ain't trying to trick a nigga, then fuck that. You ain't gonna get a nigga. That's period. Ain't no love over here, baby. When it come to motherfucker trick a nigga, there's no love. So if you looking for love, you on the wrong motherfucking channel. You in the wrong universe. You on the wrong year. Bitch, you gotta go back. I don't think you can go do that. If you're looking for love, you got to go back. Let me tell you one thing. This is trick a nigga season. And let me tell you one thing. When you get a nigga, you better get another nigga. Now, when you be living with one nigga, you stupid. You need to. Okay? I got to have a spare tire. Because, see, I'm not going to be sitting in the corner crying. Ooh, <laughs> I love him so much. I gave him my all. And this nigga just went and just. Gave the bitch all our rent money. A duh. He had a side piece because he had a goddamn spare. Something you should have had and you wouldn't be so hurt. Hey, I can't take the nigga serious. I tell the niggas in a minute, hurry up because I got another nigga waiting. Now, this bitch, I'm on the time limit. Your time is almost up, bitch. You better go in and nut. Because niggas, this this is somebody else our time now, nah, nigga. I gotta go on to the next nigga. And I always make sure a nigga give you a couple of dollars to wipe your ass for the next nigga. Y'all better stop fucking these niggas ain't got enough money to wipe your ass for the next nigga. Summer's Eve and all that shit costs. You need at least a hundred and fifty that damn dollar. Summer's Eve is twenty dollars. If you wanna buy you some panty liners, if you wanna buy you some 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 some, some uh wipes, you gotta buy you some 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 um some uh, uh spray, you know, you gotta buy you some 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 draws to make you look good for the next nigga. You gotta buy the broader match to make you look good for the next nigga. Come on now, y'all better she she better stop. You better stop playing with me. Stop laying up with these broke ass niggas not getting nothing. You better tell that nigga I need some money to wipe my ass for the next nigga. He gonna respect you. Hey, I ain't lying, but I'm comedian T Lee, y'all. I'm out. I told my story. I'm done with the done done. Follow this page, more time. Follow me everywhere. I gotta go. I gotta go to the store. I'll be right back. Hey, I gotta go on a run. And I'm about to get ready to call me a nigga so I can get me some, some vitamin D. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get some vitamin D. If you don't get no goddamn vitamin D every goddamn day, you're gonna be a bitch. You don't get vitamin D, you're gonna be like them motherfuckers in my comment section. She's a bitch. She's a dirty mother. I wish I could get hold to her. She, she did the kids wrong. She knows she did. She's toxic. I've been watching her YouTube channel forever. I hate this bitch. Just, just unfollow her. Community lit. Go get some vitamin D. So you won't be on there typing on the computer like that about me. Go get some dick, bitch. 
D I C K. I put some in your mouth. I love sucking. Sometimes you gotta suck it. Balls to your jaws and nip and 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 nuts to your guts. It's good. You need to go get it and leave me the fuck alone instead of fuck up the keyboard talking about me. I'll see you later. Bye.